Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. This is Ms. Mullins, and today we're going to be looking at Lesson 3.2, Adding and Subtracting Linear Expressions. Still kind of the same concept. We are going to see some distribution today, so distributive property. Um, but for the main part, just making sure that we can simplify linear expressions. You will have eight things written in your notes today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to write down is what is a linear expression, and that just means an algebraic expression in which the exponents all equal to 1. Okay, so like example, negative 4x is a linear expression because x has an exponent of 1, or 3x plus 5, or 5 minus 1 sixth x. What is not a linear expression is when you have these exponents right here. So x to the second, x to the third, x to the fifth plus 1. Those can't be linear expressions, so just wanted to make sure we cleared that up. Let's pause the video real quick to write that uh, vocabulary term down, and then let's go ahead and try some questions. So here's what I need you to watch first. So it says find each sum, and notice that you're adding two linear expressions together. What you're essentially going to be doing is figuring out, is there anything to distribute to the parentheses, and then you're going to distribute it. Okay, this one is pretty simple because if you notice, there is nothing to distribute in front of this first linear expression, so x minus 2 stays the same. And in front of the second linear expression, there's only a positive sign, and that's not going to change anything either, because technically you're going to be doing a positive times a positive and a positive times a positive. Those don't change, so you're still left with 3x plus 8. Okay, so when you add linear expressions and you don't have anything to distribute, everything stays the same. You just bring everything else down and then combine your like terms. I know 3x and x will make 4x, and I know 8 and negative 2 will make 6, so my answer for that one would be 4x plus 6. Or, say for instance, you have this one. Again, notice that you're still adding these together, and there is nothing to distribute in front of both parentheses. Um, sorry, I'll take that back. There is a plus sign that you're technically distributing, but plus sign multiplying by a positive is not going to change that value, so you're still going to have negative 4y plus 3 on the first one, and then a positive times a positive 11y still gives you 11y, a positive times a negative 5 still gives you a negative 5. All I've done is just bring everything down, and now I'm going to combine like terms. Negative 4y and 11y, that's going to give me 7y, and then I have a 3 and a negative 5, and that's going to give me a negative 2, so my answer would be 7y minus 2, or you can say 7y plus negative 2, okay? The next slide you're going to try by yourself, so let's go ahead and try a few examples. Here's questions 2 and 3. I'm going to go ahead and get you to pause the video, try them, make sure you simplify the expression, click play when you're ready to check your work. All right, here we go. So number 2, notice that thing. We are still adding the linear expressions. Nothing is going to change because nothing's being distributed in the first parentheses or a plus sign is being distributed in the second one. So I'm just going to rewrite everything. x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. Combine like terms. 2x plus x is 3x. And then positive 3 and negative 1 is going to be a positive 2. So my answer for number 2 would be 3x plus 2. For number three, same type of thing. Nothing to distribute in the first parentheses, so negative 8z plus 4. Nothing to really distribute in the second parentheses, so I'll have 8z minus 7. Combine like terms. Negative 8z plus 8 is going to give me 0z. I'm going to write that down for now. And then 4 plus negative 7 is going to give me a negative 3. I really don't have to write the 0z, so what I could probably do is just write negative 3 as my answer for number 3. How did you do? The next one you kind of saw something like this in your warm-up for today, um, but this is whenever you have a number to distribute. Notice here, in the first parentheses, you have a 2 to distribute. In the second parentheses, nothing is getting distributed. Um, you can also determine, you can also say that there's a 1 right here if you want to, just because there's no number there, and multiplying by 1 is not going to change the value of a number, okay? So what we're going to do is just distribute everything that we can. So 2 times negative 7.5z, and 2 times 3. And 
and then 5z and negative 2 aren't going to change, so I'm just going to rewrite them because there's nothing being distributed. 2 times negative 7.5z, that's going to give me negative 15z. 2 times 3 is 6, still have my 5z, still have my minus 2. Now let's combine like terms. Negative 15z and 5z make negative 10z, and 6 and a negative 2 make a positive 4. So I'm going to have negative 10z plus 4 as my answer. These next two you're going to try, so go ahead and take time now to pause the video. Again, make sure that you are distributing what needs to be distributed, and then once you're done, click play. All right, here we go. So number four, the first one, four minus n, there's nothing being distributed, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rewrite four minus n. However, there is something being distributed in the second set of parentheses. I'm doing two times negative five n and two times three. Two times negative five n is negative 10 n, and two times three is six. So now I have four minus n minus 10 n, and then a six. Let's go ahead and combine my like terms. Negative n and negative 10 n are going to make negative 11 n, and 4 and positive 6 will make positive 10. So my answer will be negative 11 n plus 10. For number 5, don't freak out when you see your fractions. It's very simple. You are distributing fractions to both things in parentheses wherever they're in front of. So 1 half times w and 1 half times negative 6. 1 half times negative 6 gives you a negative 3. For the second one, we're doing 1 half, 1 fourth w, and 1 fourth times 12 will also give you a positive 3, because um, you're doing essentially 1 times 12 is 12, divide by 4 is 3. So that's how we got our answer. Um, notice that your two constants are going to cancel out. Negative 3 and 3 are just going to give you 0, so all you got to really have to do is add your one-half plus one-fourth. You can change these to decimals if you want to, 0.5w and one and uh, 0.25w. And you can see that if you added those together, you would get 0.75w, which is equal to three-fourths w. Or if you change them to have common denominators, one-half would be two-fourths. So two-fourths w plus one-fourth w still gives you three-fourths W as your final answer for number five. How did you do? The next, the next part of our notes is actually going to be distributing negatives. Okay, so here's where it's going to get interesting. Let's look at letter A first. We have 5x plus 6 in parentheses minus parentheses negative x plus 6. Notice in the very beginning, this first parentheses 5x plus 6, we don't have anything to distribute, so 5x plus 6 will not change. However, we do have something to distribute in this second set of parentheses. Remember on like two slides back, I told you that there could potentially be a negative 1 here. And notice that it's a negative sign. So you're technically distributing the negative. So I'm going to do a negative times a negative and a negative times a positive. Okay? A negative times a negative x will give me a positive x. A negative times a positive 6 will give me a negative 6. So once again, I'm just distributing the negative. Notice that negative x changed to positive x, and positive 6 changed to negative 6. So you're essentially just changing them to their opposites. So you're just changing them to their opposites. So now that I've distributed, I can now combine my like terms. I have 5x and x. That's going to give me 6x. And positive 6 and negative 6 will actually give me 0. So you can write 6x plus 0, but more importantly, the final answer would just be 6x. Same thing over here for letter B. 7y plus 5 does not have anything in front of it to distribute, so 7y plus 5 is not going to change. But I do have a number here. I'm, I'm distributing a negative 2 to 4y and a negative 2 to negative 3. Negative 2 times 4y is negative 8y, and negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. Notice again, the 4y, it was multiplied and then changed to a negative 8y. The 3 was negative and it changed to a positive 6 after being distributed. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. 7y plus negative 8y, so it's going to be negative 1y. And 5 plus 6 will give me a positive 11. You could also write negative y 
plus 11. Both of those mean the same thing because anytime a letter is by itself, it's assumed that there is a 1 in front of it. So these next two you're going to try by yourself. Finding the difference meaning distributing the negative. So go ahead and pause the video and distribute the negative. Click play when you're ready to check. All right, here we go. Nothing's changing in the first one, so I'm just going to go and write m minus 3. There's nothing to distribute. However, the second one I'm distributing a negative. A negative times a negative m will be a positive m. A negative times a positive 12 will give me a negative 12. So now I just have to combine like terms. m plus m would be m and m or 2m. See what I did there? And then negative 3 plus negative 12, that's going to give me a negative. 15. So you can write 2m plus 2, 2m plus negative 15 or just 2m minus 15. Number 7, you're distributing a negative and a number. So negative 2 times c, negative 2 times 2.5. Negative 2 times c is negative 2c. Negative 2 times 2.5 is going to be negative 5. The second one, you're distributing a negative 5 to 1.2c and a negative 5 to 4. A negative 5 times 1.2c is going to give me negative 6c, and negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20. Now I'm just going to combine like terms. Negative 2c and negative 6c make negative 8c, and negative 5 and negative 20 make negative 25. So the answer is negative 8c minus 25. The last one was the word problem, and I just wanted to read this to you so you could see it and make sure you understand what to do. It says, the original price of a cowboy hat is D dollars, and you use a coupon and buy the hat for D minus two dollars. You decorate the hat and then sell it for two D minus four dollars. So write an expression that represents your earnings from buying and selling the hat. Interpret the expression. So what you need to do here is you, you maybe you bought it for this amount of money, D minus two. So let's just pretend that was five dollars. You decorate it and sell it for this amount of money, 2D minus $4. So let's say you sold it for 15 In order to find your profit, because it represents your earnings, you would subtract those two, but you need to subtract the 15 minus 5. So what, we, what we'd be doing here is doing 2D minus 4, and then minus the D minus 2. Distributing the negative, so I have 2D minus 4 not changing, but I do need to make negative D and positive 2 since I'm distributing a negative. And then 2D minus D is 1D, and negative 4 plus positive 2 is negative 2. So D minus 2 would be your answer. Um, funny how that worked out. Okay? So that's going to be your end of your notes. Make sure you have your eight things written down. Thanks for tuning in.